Welcome back to X Slicks Recap. Today, we will tell a movie story about an action thriller movie titled Blacklight 2022. Enjoy the recap. The story begins in Washington, D.C., where we meet Sofia Flores, a fiery activist rallying the crowds with her passionate speeches about gender and racial equality. Well, now we have something to say! She's a sensation, with every ear tuned into her words and every heart ignited by her vision. But as she's heading home, disaster strikes. A hit and run leaves Sofia injured, and the perpetrator vanishes into thin air. Switch gears and enter Travis Block. This isn't just any ordinary man. Travis is a hardened Vietnam War vet who now plays guardian angel to undercover FBI agents. On today's agenda, he's protecting FBI agent Helen Davidson. But when Travis arrives at Helen's place, he finds it swarmed with rednecks out for blood. Helen's blood, to be precise. With a quick mind and nerves of steel, Travis hatches a plan. He masterminds a distraction by blowing up one of their trailers to draw the rednecks' attention away and swoops in to whisk Helen away from danger. With Helen safe, Travis heads over to report to his boss, FBI Director Gabriel Robinson. Despite Travis's heroics, Robinson thinks Helen's reckless behavior jeopardized the mission. Later, we catch a glimpse of Travis's softer side as he joins his daughter Amanda and his granddaughter Natalie at a friend's birthday party. During the party, we delve into Amanda's personal life. She is divorced, her ex-husband having been unfaithful. Travis, recognizing the struggles his daughter is going through, expresses a desire to retire and devote more time to his family, to Amanda and Natalie. However, Amanda is skeptical. She's seen the dangers of his job, knows the risks too well, and doubts his ability to be a steady presence in their lives. Meanwhile, a new character enters the scene. Mira Jones, engaged in a fierce debate with her colleague Drew about Sofia Flores' tragic demise. Mira is convinced it was a cold-blooded murder, while Drew considers it a tragic accident. Their perspectives clash, and the truth remains shrouded in mystery. In a different corner of the city, we find Dusty Crane parked discreetly. He's busy taking his medication when he gets caught up in an altercation. A police officer notices him and advises him to move his car, saying he can't park there. But the situation escalates when a second officer spots a firearm on the passenger side of his vehicle. The tension soars as the police attempt to arrest him, resulting in a ferocious brawl. This leads to Crane's arrest and he is immediately taken into custody. But plot twist, Crane isn't just another offender. He's revealed to be an undercover FBI agent when Travis shows up to get him out of jail. Travis' plan is straightforward. Free Crane and deliver him to Director Robinson. But first, a detour. He needs to pick up his granddaughter Natalie from school. He leaves Crane handcuffed in the car, a precaution that backfires when Crane enlists a nearby kid to help him escape. Meanwhile, Travis, unaware of Crane's escape, is inside the school, and Amanda arrives to pick up Natalie. He returns to find Crane gone, having made his escape in a stolen truck. Panic sets in, and a high-stakes chase unfolds as he races to recapture Crane. During the pursuit, Crane makes contact with Mira Jones, hinting at crucial information about Sofia Flores' death. He insists it's too dangerous to share over the phone and arranges a meeting at Mira's office. But the chase reaches a terrifying climax when Crane, unable to control the stolen truck, ends up in a rollover accident. The suspense deepens as we ponder the fate of Crane and the undisclosed secret he carries. Despite the horrific crash, he survives and hurries off to his rendezvous with Mira. Travis, still hot on Crane's trail, spots him with Mira, but before he can act, Crane flees. Losing sight of him, Travis heads straight to Robinson, relaying his suspicions about Crane's secret meeting with journalist Mira Jones. Travis uses this opportunity to express his wish to retire. Robinson agrees, but there's a catch. One last mission. Travis is tasked with arresting Crane, who is now viewed as a traitor. Back at Amanda's house, Travis installs a CCD camera for their safety, but Amanda is far from appreciative. She views it as an intrusion, asking Travis to limit his visits, fearing his dangerous work could endanger them. In a chilling turn of events, Robinson orders two FBI agents, Jordan and Wallace, to assassinate Crane, unknown to Travis. The plot against Crane thickens as evening descends. Crane returns to his hideout to recover a crucial flash drive, but his plan is thwarted by the sudden appearance of agents Jordan and Wallace, who ambush him. Crane's survival instincts kick in and he evades them, leaping off the roof to safety. Travis then seeks out Mira, asking her to inform him if Crane gets in touch. Initially resistant, Mira stamps shifts when she realizes Travis is an FBI agent and she reluctantly agrees to cooperate. 
The next day Crane contacts Mira, arranging another secret meeting. Unbeknownst to her Travis, having kept an eye on Mira, trails her to their rendezvous. Inside a bustling building he spots Mira and Crane engrossed in a grave discussion. Noticing Travis, Crane runs off, battling security officers in his attempt to escape. The chase leads Travis and Crane to a dead end. As Crane attempts to jump the fence, he is yanked down, and a fight ensues. Crane gets the better of him and eventually jumps the gate. He then tells Travis he won't kill any more innocent people. Suddenly, Jordan and Wallace appear, raining a hail of bullets and killing Crane as Travis hides. They take the flash drive and run off. At Crane's funeral, Robinson urges Travis to remain committed to his duties and uncover what Crane was plotting. Seeking answers, Travis turns to Mira who reveals Crane's mention of Operation Unity, a covered initiative to eliminate civilians resisting the U.S. government's policies. This revelation stuns Travis. He was oblivious to this operation, spearheaded by his longtime friend Robinson. Travis recounts to Mira his past with Robinson, their camaraderie stemming from serving together in Vietnam. Upon retiring from the service, while Robinson's political career soared, landing him as the FBI director, Travis grappled with unemployment. Robinson extended a lifeline, offering him a role as an FBI special agent safeguarding undercover operatives. This opportunity turned Travis's life around, leaving him indebted to Robinson. Travis meets Robinson the following day, demanding answers about Operation Unity. To his surprise, Robinson admits to its existence, justifying it as a necessary measure for national security and advising Travis to stay out of it. Betrayed and furious, Travis hands in his resignation, severing ties with the FBI and his once-trusted friend Robinson. Meanwhile, Mira seats with fury as Drew publishes her story about Crane's death without her consent. Mira had deliberately held back the story considering the potential risk it posed to her and others. Drew's thoughtless action doesn't bode well for him. That very night, he's pursued by a black SUV and killed by the same agents responsible for Crane's death under Robinson's directive. Drew's murder is expertly staged to resemble an accident. Learning of Drew's death, Mira grows more certain of a sinister conspiracy behind Sophia, Crane, and Drew's untimely ends. She suspects Robinson is the orchestrator of these murders and the man behind Operation Unity. Despite her conviction, her close friend Sarah urges her to abandon her investigation, fearing for Mira's life. Simultaneously, Travis attempts to reach Amanda, but his calls go unanswered. Growing anxious, he rushes over to Amanda's house, only to find it eerily empty. The CCTV camera he'd installed has been tampered with, escalating his worry. Desperate for answers, he contacts Amanda's hospital in Natalie's school, but finds no trace of his family's whereabouts. Faced with his family's disappearance, Travis confronts Robinson, demanding information about their whereabouts. Robinson, however, feigns ignorance, denying any knowledge and warning Travis against meddling in his affairs. Undeterred, Travis warns Robinson of dire consequences if he's found complicit in endangering his family. Later that evening, Travis meets with Mira, who urges him to make a public statement exposing Robinson's criminal activities. Travis, however, stresses the need for concrete evidence to incriminate Robinson. Simply making allegations won't suffice. Their best shot lies in Crane's flash drive, currently in Robinson's possession. Recalling the safe at Robinson's house, Travis surmises that's where the flash drive must be. Arming himself, Travis readies for a confrontation, but he's not alone. Agents Jordan and Wallace arrive, tasked with eliminating him. Anticipating their attack, Travis manages to evade them, detonates their car, and speeds off. He storms into Robinson's house, compelling him to surrender Crane's flash drive. As Travis scans through the flash drive's contents, Robinson stealthily escapes, ordering his henchmen to kill Travis. But with quick thinking, Travis devises a plan. He locks the door, switches off the lights, and creates puddles, using the environment to his advantage. Successfully overpowering Robinson's men, he makes his escape. Following his recent escape, Mira meets Travis at his hideout to delve deeper into the information contained in Crane's flash drive. They discover a videotape confession from Crane, who was assigned to spy on Sophia. Unexpectedly, he fell in love with her. Upon learning this, Robinson ordered Sophia's assassination, fearing that Crane might divulge details about Operation Unity to her. Enraged and heartbroken, Crane decided to defect and avenge Sophia's death. A few days later, Travis, disguised as a chauffeur, confronts Robinson, urging him to surrender and confess to his crimes while also revealing the location of Travis's family. However, Robinson manages to escape, leading to a high-stakes shootout between the two.
Travis eventually gains the upper hand incapacitating Robinson and forcing him to comply with his demands. With Travis's help, Mira succeeds in unearthing the full extent of Robinson's criminal activities and the deadly consequences of Operation Unity. As the truth behind the conspiracy unfolds, Travis continues his pursuit of justice in the quest to reunite with his family. Travis manages to locate Amanda and Natalie, who had been held captive in a witness protection safe house on Robinson's orders. On seeing her father, Amanda is filled with relief and joy. She apologizes to him, mends their strained relationship, and invites him back into her and Natalie's life. Finally, Travis's wish to retire is realized. He is able to step away from his dangerous line of work and spend his twilight years in the company of his beloved family, cherishing the peaceful moments that had eluded him for so long. With the past behind them, they look forward to a future filled with love, safety, and togetherness.